Hey World Changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math for Rebe of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it is time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this video, if you know that you need more help with a specific skill, I will point you in the right direction to help you make math your jam. The focus for this week is drum roll. Multi-select. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead, you know what to do. Let's pause the video. Solve this one on your own. And then when you're ready to check your work, press play, come on back, and you can check it and see how you did, okay? Welcome back, fifth grade. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So it says, Eileen creates a goal to drink 1,000 ounces of water in, ooh, there's a word form there, in seven consecutive days. Do you know what consecutive means? It means one right after the other, okay? Seven consecutive days. So that would be Monday and then Tuesday and then Wednesday, a day right after the other with no missing days in between, seven consecutive days. She drinks 142 ounces of water each day, Monday through Friday. Select all of the equations that represent how much Eileen must drink, which is D, over the next two days to reach her goal. Whoa, that's a lot of information. I need to draw this one out. Okay, so Eileen, she sets a goal. She sets a goal, I'm just reading one sentence at a time, to drink 1,000 ounces of water in seven days. That is what she is trying to hit, her target. Okay, she drinks 142 ounces each day, Monday through Friday. So if I'm kind of measuring it like this, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And each of those days, Monday through Fridays, in consecutive order, she drinks 142 ounces. I'm seeing numbers being repeated here. And we need to figure out, select all of the equations that represent how much she drank over the next two days. So we still have Saturday and Sunday. And we don't know how much she drank those two days of water. All right, so let's see what she needs to do here. Well, first we know she needs to get to a total of 1,000 ounces of water. Do we know how much she has had so far? Kind of, we can figure it out, right? We know that for one, two, three, four, five days, she's had how many ounces of water each day? 142, right? So we could say five times 142, and we could get that total, this right here. And then we could figure out how much she still needs to drink D. So first we would need to multiply five times 142. I'm gonna go ahead and do that over here just to know. So that would be 710 ounces that she's had so far. So her goal is to get to 1,000, we could take away 710 and then figure out how much she is drinking. So let's see what answer choices play out there. Okay, so first, to figure out how much she drinks, should we take 1000 and subtract 142 only one time? No, that's not gonna give us anything, right? That would only be one day, we need the five days here. So let's go ahead and eliminate this first one, okay? Next, to figure out how much she has, she needs to drink, should we take 1,000, her goal, and subtract what she has already consumed for those five days? Yeah, that's what we were saying, right? So let's go ahead and keep that one. Let's try to interpret the next one. 142 ounces of water that she consumes for five days, that's looking good. And then should we subtract 1,000 from 710 to figure out how much she still needs? 
No, those need to be flipped around, right? It should be 1,000 minus the 142 times five. So this one, we can eliminate that one. She drinks 142 ounces. Well, that's a problem because it's not being multiplied by five for those five days. And then we add that to 1,000 minus five. Is that looking right? No. Let's eliminate that one. And this one says to figure out how much she needs to drink, she, we have a goal of 1,000 minus 142 times five. So with there, we don't have any parentheses, right? But we do know the order of operation. So if we're looking at 1,000 minus 142 times five, we've got subtraction there and we've got multiplication. If there are no parentheses, which operation should we do first? Subtraction or multiplication? Multiplication. So this one would work because first we could multiply 142 times five and then subtract that from 1,000 to get how much she still needs to drink. So let's not forget to mark that one. We did all the thinking for it. Okay, so the second choice and the final choice should be the two answers that you selected. If you need to go back and rewatch this or to make any notes, go ahead and pause the video, do what you gotta do, and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to get better stronger or more confident with something you have got to be intentional about your practice and you have to throw down your very best effort each and every time so you can get better i believe in you and i will see you next time world changers bye